Let's start by clearing some misconceptions. Float planes are not seaplanes, and not all seaplanes are amphibious airplanes. These terms have different meanings. A seaplane is built around a single hull which serves as the plane's floating body and fuselage, and it takes off from and lands on its belly, for example, the Icon A5. On the other hand, for a float plane, instead of a hull that can land on water, a float plane has floats that serve as the surfaces to land on and take off from, for example, a Cessna 206 Station Air. Meanwhile, the term amphibious aircraft refers to airplanes that can land both on land and water surfaces. Welcome to this episode of Dwayne's Aviation. A wise man once said, smash the like button and subscribe to our channel. The Progressive Aerodyne Sea Ray is one of the best seaplanes you can get your hands on in the market today. This airplane comes in three options, the Sea Ray, the Sea Ray Adventure, and the Sea Ray Elite. The Sea Ray Elite is factory built, FAA certified, with a 115 horsepower Rotax 914 turbocharged engine and Garmin G3X touch avionics. The second option, the Sea Ray Adventure is also factory built, FAA certified, but here you get to enjoy flying in its purest form, featuring analog instrumentation, manual flaps, and three different choices of Rotax power plants. The third option, the basic Sea Ray, is an experimental airplane, which means you get to customize it as much as you want. Design wise, it's not the sleekest or the best looking airplane from the list but it is the best bet for that money. Performance-wise, you're looking at a cruise speed of 90 to 100 knots, useful load is close to 600 pounds. Now the best part about the Sea Ray is the price. You can easily get into one of these airplanes for only $120,000. And if you search well enough in the used market, you can get into one of these planes for less than $60,000. The C-MAX M22 is another great amphibian airplane just like the Sea Ray. The C-MAX is a light sport aircraft with a sleek design that ditches the traditional look of a float plane. One convenient feature of the M22 is the fact that it can operate using premium auto fuel, making filling up the tanks a breeze, especially if you choose to take it for a spin on one of Florida's many lakes. The C-MAX comes in three models, the C-MAX Performance, C-MAX Exclusive, and the C-MAX Exclusive Dual. They all use the Rotax 912 engine, the Performance trim provides an exceptional useful load, extreme versatility, powerful performance, and aviation in its purest form with analog avionics. The Exclusive trim brings a hybrid panel combining the Garmin G3X touchscreen avionics with analog gauges, making it perfect for training purposes. The exclusive dual trim is the loaded version. This trim brings two Garmin G3X touchscreen and a Garmin G5 avionics. This version comes with an integrated communication system and engine integration system. They sell at $148,000, $162,000 and $168,000 respectively. If you want a recent design, then the Icon A5 is a good option. The Icon A5 makes flying more exciting and more accessible than ever before. In my opinion, this airplane is very good by design and it has a lot of cool features. One of them being the folding wings. The wings can be folded aft for ground transport and if you want to store it in your garage at home so you won't have to pay hangar or tie-down fees to anyone. The Icon A5 is fitted with the Rotax 912 engine. This powers the airplane to cruise around 95 miles per hour and you have a nice useful load of about 500 pounds, depending on the configuration of the airplane. The A5 is considered the premium brand for seaplanes because this airplane is not cheap. Starting base price is $269,000 and then, depending on the extra features you choose, it can drive the price up to $400,000. If you don't like the Icon A5, then the Aeronautica Super Petrel LS is another good airplane to consider. One of the first obvious things you notice about this aircraft is the biplane feature. I don't know if the double wings make it fly better or that's just for looks, 
but design-wise, this airplane looks good. And just like the Icon, you have a Rotax 912 engine, but with the Petrel, you can also opt in for the Rotax 914 turbocharged engine. The base price for the Super Petrel is $175,000, and that's if you wanted a less powerful Rotax 912, which is also fuel injected. Or, if you opt in for the turbocharged Rotax 914 engine, you will pay a little more. And with these engines, you get a nice climb rate of 1,000 feet per minute in the 912 engine and 1,400 feet per minute in the 914 turbo engine. The cruise speed is roughly around the same depending on which engine you go for. So, you're looking at 80 to maybe 120 miles per hour with a nice useful load of 537 pounds and you can fly as far as 600 miles. If you live in a place like Florida with a lot of waterways and you like flying around with your whole family on weekends, then go for the Cessna 206 Station Air. Unlike other airplanes in this list, the Station Air was not originally designed to be a seaplane, but it is certified to use floats for water operations. I consider the 206 stationaire as a flying SUV. Power originally came from a 285 horsepower Continental IO 520A engine, but was soon swapped out for the 300 horsepower Continental IO 520F engine. Cessna built the 206 until production stopped in 1986. After 12 years, the stationaire returned to production with the 300 horsepower Lycoming IO 540 engine which helps it to cruise at 160 miles per hour, climb at 900 feet per minute with a range of 800 miles. With $750,000, you can buy this airplane brand new. If you want something near the practicality of the Cessna 206 Station Air, then go for the Seawind 3000. This airplane is a great choice for a family trip. The cabin can fit two adults and three children, or four adults in total, and the panoramic view is a fun addition for those wishing to take it on sightseeing flights. Also, this seaplane goes fast. The cruising speed is 190 miles per hour, or 165 knots, at 75% power, although most pilots tend to fly at 55% power, not even taking advantage of the speed at their fingertips. You can get this airplane with $100,000 in the used market. Another great airplane to look out for is the MVP Model 3. When you look at this airplane, it does look a little bit bigger in size, and that's because a lot more practical features were built into this plane. You can take this airplane for a sightseeing flight, fishing, and camping. It's basically a living boat. You have room for a dock to chill on. You have room to sleep in. There's so much more to this airplane than just flying. Performance-wise, you're not getting much more. You're getting similar performance numbers as the other amphibian airplanes listed in this video. The MVP is powered by the Rotax 912 or the 914 engine, which helps it to cruise at 120 miles per hour, climb at 1,000 feet per minute with a range of 700 miles. Now, the best part about this airplane is that you get all these features for less than $200,000. Another revolutionary design to look into is the Lisa Akoya. This is more than just an amphibious plane. This airplane will be able to operate on land, water, and snow. In addition to its unrivaled versatility, the Akoya has exceptionally sleek aerodynamic lines making the performance just as good as you might imagine. The Akoya uses the Rotax 912 engine, which helps it to cruise at 130 miles per hour, climb at 1,000 feet per minute with a range of 1,000 miles. The best thing is that it can land in a space of less than 650 feet and can easily be stored in a garage thanks to its folding wings. The Akoya is a cheap airplane, getting it brand new will cost you about $300,000. If you love flying alone for recreational purposes, then go for the Fly Nano Nano. This aircraft is half jet ski and half plane. The Fly Nano combines marine and aviation technology to create a lightweight plane that only weighs 70 kilograms, though a pilot license is not required to fly the aircraft. However, 
it is not for beginners because flying experience is recommended before attempting to fly the seaplane. The electric power engine makes it extremely quiet, cheap to run and maintain. It is made from carbon fiber, which makes it extremely light and strong. The good thing about this airplane is that the aircraft wing can be removed for storage or ground transportation. So, if you live close to a lake and love flying around on your day off, this airplane is for you. It features a joined wing box wing, a single seat open cockpit without a windshield, a hull for water operations, a single electric engine in tractor configuration mounted above the cockpit. This aircraft can fly incredibly fast compared to the others in this category, as high as 9,000 feet. To get a brand new of this plane will cost you $90,000, so if you love traveling fast and quietly in an ultralight aircraft, this airplane is for you. You can support us on Patreon using the link in the description. A wise man once said, subscribe for more.